Um, so at Greenhouse and Jenks, we focus on helping uh, forward-thinking entrepreneurial organizations um, by providing audit, accounting, tax, and advisory services. Um, some of the specialty services we provide include things like movie and television participation audits, litigation support, uh, forensic investigations. Really, the reason for our deciding to go with an AR automation process came down to the, the, the fact that we were having some challenges with, with um, collecting our, our accounts receivable um, for, for a variety of reasons. But the, the main reason was that the decentralized process, we have 15 partners, um, they're supported by 30 or 40 bill managers and who are then supported by uh, executive assistants. So all those various people, all those various participants in the process we're creating some, some, some significant issues in terms of it being so decentralized. First and foremost, uh, our collections uh, improved. So our, our quality of our receivables, uh, our aged receivables, the, the number of, uh, the, both the number of invoices and the amount of dollars in the, in the plus 90 day column has, has steadily dropped as a result. Um, but there's also been some, some kind of cascading uh, benefits of that. So for example, we, we have, uh, quite a few clients, especially on on a tax side, um, and and a lot of those invoices can be smaller. So you know when you look at our our AR aging, you know this time last year, you saw you know a number of accounts, and that that's a lot of follow up that that an individual would need to do. Now by having the automated reminder, we've significantly reduced the noise in our accounts receivable. There's a lot less, a lot fewer invoices, uh, and a, and a lot less dollars. So what that has allowed us to do is then to focus on the ones that really require some type of conversation with the client. Maybe there's an issue where the client has a question about the invoice, or maybe there is, you know, the client is having some difficulties and they need to work out a payment plan, something along those lines. Now we can much more easily isolate those, have those conversations, put our efforts where the efforts are most valuable and, and reduce all the noise by automating the process. And, and where people just need a simple reminder, that's now handled for us. Our anticipation was that we were about 80-20 uh, in terms of electronic versus paper before uh, the AR automation, pro AR automation project. What we actually found once we dove into the details and, and got that back is that we were closer to 50-50. And then once we made the change, now we've, we've, we've uh, migrated everything over and, and we're essentially, we're, I mean, we're, we're probably pretty close to 100% uh, in terms of being paperless at this point.